Hello, my name is Attila Karpati and welcome to the tarot reading. Uh, today, before the reading, uh, I would like to discuss a little bit about esoteric, occult and divinatory tarot, respectively commercial tarot. The following is not a rant. I may sound redundant, but most people still don't understand it and I must explain it again. Esoteric means A. Designed for or understood by the specially initiated alone. B. Requiring or exhibiting knowledge restricted to a small group or difficult to understand. The word occult has a similar meaning. Occult may mean secret, not easily apprehended or understood, mysterious, hidden from view or concealed. Divination, conversely, refers to the art or practice that seeks to foresee or foretell future events or discover hidden knowledge, usually by interpreting omens or using supernatural powers. Divination is a fancy formula for fortune telling. However, it requires knowledge and thorough understanding of esoteric matters such as astrology, numerology, alchemy, and Kabbalah. It is a matter of learning. The tarot is an instrument of preserving and transmitting occult esoteric knowledge, and also it also has a divinatory function that is secondary. Most modern tarot decks originate from or have been copied from the Rider Waite deck. However, the Rider Waite tarot is a commercial deck with low esoteric content. Long story short, Waite built his deck mainly inspired by Samuel Liddell McGregor Matters' 1888 pamphlet The Tarot which was roughly based on Attila's tarot. However, Matter's work contains several misinterpretations and uh, mistranslations. Therefore, the Rider Waite tarot's illustration of the minor arcana cards represent a graphic depiction of one of Attila's keywords associated with each card, while the major arcana is a slightly altered version of the Tarot of Marseille. Attila published his deck in 1789, specially designed for divination. Unfortunately, most of his original work has been lost or remains untranslated. The works of his puppets have been mainly used as a reference for his deck. Based on the design of some cards, we may suspect that their meaning was based on astrology, but it identifying a particular system is impossible. His work subsequently copies and alterations affected and harmed its original content and meaning. The most uh, representative example is the Rider Waite deck and its various clones. All to wait was a member and at some point the head of Golden Dawn, his deck did not incorporate the teaching of the Hermetic Order. Pamela Coleman-Smith was also a member of the order, but like Wade, she was also Christian and disconsidered divination. The Rider Waite deck was conceived for the sole purpose of commercial interest, but failed to succeed. The man who eventually managed to capitalize on the Rider Waite deck was Stuart Kaplan, the founder of US Game Systems. Therefore, it is fundamental to discern between esoteric and commercial tarot decks and practices. Most people still misuse and abuse terms such as occult, esoteric and divination. Esoteric also means knowledge based, yet most modern works are intuition based and speculative. Both authors and publishers are seeking commercial success and not widening or understanding. Actually, Dumber is better. After all, the goal is not education, but making profit. What is largely available 
and easily accessible is rarely esoteric, but exoteric. Exoteric refers to knowledge outside and intended for a person's experience and can be fully appreciated and understood by anyone in contrast to esoteric knowledge. Esoter exoteric means common knowledge. Tuj is esoteric means extraordinary, exoteric means ordinary. As a result, most modern tarot decks and tarot related books are ordinary and strictly commercial. Genuine esoteric decks are extremely uh, rare. I will only mention a few. Uh, the Itaylas deck, and I will show this. This is the Itaylas deck. I will show you a couple of cards. This is the Taylor's deck. Uh, of course, the famous uh, Crowley's deck, the Totaro. Uh, another esoteric deck is the uh, Magic Taro of uh, Frederick Lionel, a very beautiful deck and a very interesting book with, uh, it's a, with an original uh, philosophy. And not at least the the alchemical uh, Jungian tarot, uh, the tarot by Robert uh, Wang. It's also an esoteric work. Uh, I will put this back to be seen. Unsurprisingly, they are not necessarily the most popular or commercially successful decks. Alto Crowley's deck became popular and commercially successful. Few people truly dug into its depth. Sometimes genuine occult esoteric materials can be found in the wide open, but few people will see and understand their value. At the bottom line, it is your choice. You have, you are here because you want to understand, put real effort into learning, or you are here content to be a useful idiot. So this was my introduction for today. I think the matter of esoteric, uh, occult and divinatory tarot is very important because still many people uh, misuse it and refer uh, to esoteric, uh, speak about esoteric tarot when they actually work with commercial decks such as the Rider Way deck. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against commercial materials. They have a uh, purpose in this world, but uh, it's not good for anybody to mistake commercial decks for esoteric decks and believe that they are working with esoteric tarot while they are using uh, commercial decks such as the Rider Waite deck. 